Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, we will learn how to sync, how to sync, window, how to sync Windows Form events from native C++ classes. And this session continues from our previous session. So please watch this video. Please watch this video. Hosting C# -sharp Win Form control in MSC dialog box using C Win Forms control class. Here, please download the source code. Click it. When the source code is downloaded, please go to uh, show in folder. Then here, unzip it. Then please change its name, solution name to WinForm in MFC with events solution change like this copy the solution let's see okay copy the solution to your working folder paste the downloaded solution to your working folder then open it in visual studio Please note that I am using Visual Studio 2015. I am using Visual Studio 2015 update 3. Now open the solution from file, open, project and solution. Open the solution. When solution is loaded in Explo Solution Explorer, right click, uh, build solution. Our solution should build to rebuild or to succeed. Our solution should be rebuilt, should be rebuilt successfully. Then in uh, in C sharp, we will add some event handler. Click C sharp my name name control. Double click it. First, we will click OK button. Double double click OK button. Like this. Then save all. Please copy this code. We will change, we will delete it later. But for the time being, just copy this code. And in class view, class view, click, then select C, C my, C my name, DLG. Double click it here. In public section, Paste it and disable like this. We'll modify it here again. Make it private, and we can say on button OK click. We will change like this, and also. This should be system object head sender. You should change like this. Also, system event ARGs head like this. Save it and semicolon. Copy, copy this code, copy it, then on initial dialog box, here on initial dialog box, paste it here, like this, we are making this function, member function, here, AFX, message box, you can say, uh, Okay, we will, we will do this, this, update data, true. Update data true, for about this, please, con please leave it to MSDM by F1. It copies, click F1 to get MSDM help. Say, call this member to initialize data in dialog box or retrieve validate parameter 
If flag indicates whether dialog box is being initialized or dialog box is being retrieved. So please refer to this MSDN. I will, uh, okay, please refer to this uh, uh, online help, MSDN help. Then you can say C string message MSG format you can say name entered like this you can just say name entered okay then msg this and my name control get get text box no you can just say this and str name like this then here msg save this then here we need to declare two part here uh, declare begin b e z i n delegate map we have to put this class name then end delegate map like this then we we'll register event delegate entry here this function name then system then we need two arguments like this Okay. Now save it. Then everything seems to be done. Now delete it. Then we have to register this uh, event handler. How do we do that? On initial dialog here, we can add it like this. This, no. Uh, This is C-sharp, C-sharp top play pun. Name control, H, control. Then this, M, my name control, get control. Then H control get uh, button okay okay then once again click its event name is click click then plus make delegate here you should delegate type is delegate type is system event handler like this then member function on uh, button ok click like this this we are registering event handler here Save it. Now control F5. Sorry. We have to remove this handle. Control F5 once again. Now testing. 
I would change James Dean. Okay. Name entered James Dean. We made a uh, event handler for for okay. Now we will add one more event handler. Save it. Now in design here, select OK button, properties, event handler. Because we already registered, we don't need it. So right click, reset. We don't need it. Click. Now we are adding here event handler for text editor box, properties properties you should select this text box then here scroll down scroll down scroll down text change it select the text change it then double click double click text change it like this copy it copy this text this uh, uh, function once again copy uh, then here again in this file in this file once again paste it like this now change it on name box text box text to change it Once again, this should be system, system, object, handler, like this. This should also be system, event, ALGs. It should be handler like this. And we are adding here once again, event. Delegate entry. We copy this text here. No, we copy the whole text. Copy it. Then paste it here. Then like this. We fix it. Okay, save it. Then we are making this function once again. Copy this text. Then you can click here, click this. Then on initial dialog box here. Paste. Then copy. Like this. Like this. You see, text changed. Text changed. Two. Save it. Now, let's see once again the code. Okay, we also have, don't forget, we have to register. We have to register this event handler, copy this code. Here. This is not OK button, we have to get text box. Get name. Text box. Then text change it. Okay. Then here, on, text, on, name, text box change it, this one, okay, save. Now, control F5, you should not forget registering your making delegates at this, uh, at this step. Also, please note that you have to add your uh, event handler after own INIT dialog box after this function. Okay, now see. 
it it works as before now i am changing text see text change to null i each time i enter text okay so we we successfully added the event handler for text change event for this dialog box uh, this text box control and also ok button text uh, event handler for ok button now close all close then after adding event you don't need its event any longer so here please click text event reset this is deletes unnecessary event handler okay so if we see the code we find the code is deleted actually now finally control f5 once again okay it should work as before see it works as before so let this this way you can add event handler to your uh, c sharp inform control since we registered the event handler it's good idea to unregister them when dialog box closed destroyed click see my my name dialog box class in class view select see my name dlg in properties if property window is not open then view select other property window like this then click message button then scroll down destroy wm destroy click this here we need to unregister before dialog box is closed we will unregister here so we can copy from here then paste it here then change it to minus like this okay this is unregistering our event handler before uh, when dialog box is destroyed now control f5 once again since we registered the event handler then we unregister them before dialog box is destroyed okay now it works okay it unregisters when dialog box is destroyed I will put a downloaded link in the description section below. Please download this code and try it by yourself. Also, register. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.